Ashton Kutcher cheated on Demi Moore with a 21-year-old he met in a bowling alley. Demi Moore says Ashton Kutcher cheated on her on their wedding anniversary. Demi Moore, Ashton Kutcher encouraged threesomes, breaking her sobriety, while he cheated. These are just some of the headlines that broke the internet when this couple's marriage began crumbling. Many have often said that when a woman writes a book on her life, she can change the world. Well, Demi Moore's memoir revealing the truth of what happened in her and Ashton's relationship definitely changed his world, and the world fans had created for the couple. For years, the actress tried to make her marriage work, but in the end, the most heartbreaking odds were stacked up against them. Some things can be saved, and for others, the end is inevitable. I was a 40-year-old who had a big life, and Ashton's adult life was just beginning. I didn't see all that because I was inside of it. I just felt like a 15-year-old girl hoping somebody liked me. As always, we'd love to keep you updated and serve you the hottest celeb dishes. So make sure you hit that notification button, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Okay, now for this roller coaster ride. When Demi appeared on The Ellen Show to promote her memoir, Inside Out, the talk show host was surprised to hear the things Demi had exposed about her marriage. Ellen couldn't believe that her longtime friend, Ashton, had cheated on Demi and initiated other sexual fantasies within his marriage. But how much does anyone really know about a person? And that's the exact question Kutcher left his wife asking when she found out about his affair from a Google notification. Imagine that, looking down at your phone to find out that the entire world knows you've been betrayed. And worse, you know nothing about it. After calling her then-husband right away to confront him about it, Kutcher wasted no time denying his deeds and admitted to his mistake right away, leaving Moore angry with her heart shattered into pieces. And I think my response was, are you fucking kidding me? That was it, and I think I could barely take a breath. But no one would have been able to tell that the actress was completely broken because she has the skill to quote, disassociate. Just moments after she found out, Moore smiled through the pain, walking the red carpet for a miniseries she had directed for a lifetime. But soon this created a pattern of her ignoring Kutcher's wrongs while trying hard not to let their marriage fall apart. Many couples tend to make the mistake of thinking bringing a child into the world will fix the problems in their relationship. Amidst Kutcher's cheating scandal, the couple was trying hard for a kid. She was in her 40s at the time and had already mothered three daughters with her former husband, Bruce Willis. However, no matter how desperately the couple wanted children, Demi was likely unable to conceive at that age. Still, she tried hard to give Kutcher a child, and her hope paid off. The actress fell pregnant, and it seemed like things would turn out well for the couple. With all their attention turned to a newborn, they could possibly forget rising issues in their relationship. Sadly, that did not happen. Just six months into her pregnancy, the couple suffered a tragic loss after Demi had a miscarriage. You could see a combination of his dread. She recalled of watching her doctor's face, and it shifting then immediately into matter-of-fact, practical information, because it was unquestionable. There was no heartbeat. And suddenly, something that was meant to solve the couple's problems only added to them. The couple continued trying to get pregnant again, with the help of doctors. But sadly, nothing ever came of it. And so when I couldn't get pregnant again, the guilt that I felt that it was clearly my fault right. was just enormous. Desperate and feeling empty, the actress was pushed to end two decades of sobriety. The pain and loss of her miscarriage drove her to sink her sorrows in a bottle of alcohol. One bottle turned into countless more, and when drinking was not enough, the actress began abusing painkillers, hoping to ease the pain. Demi shared that she felt lost, empty, desperate, confused, adding that, I really lost sight of everything that was in front of me, which is the family I had. Such a tragedy can bring people closer together, but tends to tear them forever apart. It's hard to return to that place of romance and bliss when you're both completely aware that something is missing. As though things could not get any worse, Kutcher was back in the headlines with new cheating rumors. For Demi, it could not have been easy to feel as though her body had betrayed her, but the love of her life had too. And when he decided to introduce a third party into their sexual affairs, that was the last straw for her. Demi admitted to going ahead with a threesome, 
but only because she felt pressured to be a cool wife. He expressed something that was of a fantasy, and it was in my um, efforts to want to please um, and, and be what I thought he wanted. Soon after, the problems in their marriage were glaring, and they could not run away from it. A breakup was inevitable. After their divorce, the actress admitted that among Kutcher's infidelity, their age gap was also a factor. He had a whole life ahead of him, and she had already lived through everything Kutcher was only beginning to experience. Although she knew problems were arising during their relationship, she ignored them because she felt addicted to Kutcher. She didn't want to let him go and would compromise anything just to keep him, including her integrity. I was, I, you know, I made my own story up that he wanted somebody that he could have wine with and do some. He didn't, he's not the cause of why I opened that door. Right. I wanted to be something other than who I am. Right. However, following her divorce, Ashton was not the only addiction the actress had. The alcohol and painkillers were just a gateway for other substances that she began using. On one unforgettable night, her birthday, Demi's guests witnessed her having a seizure after indulging in a variety of illegal substances. Okay, is she breathing? Is she breathing? Yes. Okay, and she overdosed on... Uh... Uh, she's convulsing. My daughter was terrified that she was going to see me die right in front of her. And within me, I was in a place that was thinking, wow, how did I get in here? Isn't this interesting? After regaining consciousness, the actress realized that this moment was her turning point. Only she could get herself out of the dark place she was in. But it was too late. Her daughters had already cut their ties with her. Moore was alone. No career, no relationship, and no family. And having hit rock bottom, her body was giving up on her too. The actress was diagnosed with an autoimmune issue, and also developed digestive problems. This space of pain and fear was enough to drive the actress to seek mental help. She enrolled on a rehabilitation program, which evidently helped her heal. These small steps to getting better won her girl's hearts, and soon her daughters were back in her life. Sadly, Kutcher had already moved on with his life with Mila. Soon, their relationship was nothing but a memory. But before the cheating allegations and the turbulent years they survived together, Demi and Ashton were just two people in love who really wanted to spend the rest of their lives together. You can't get too upset about the bad, and you can't get too hyped up about the good. Would you change it? Would I rather not be there? Does that mean that I don't get the good things that I get? So she's worth it. When Demi and Ashton met at a friend's dinner back in the early 2000s, one thing was clear. There was burning chemistry between them. They were undeniably drawn to one another and couldn't care less about the 15-year age gap between them. And if it's true what they say about love being blind, this applied to them. There was something special cooking between them, and that's all that mattered. But even though they could ignore the age difference, others couldn't. When the couple first became public, that was all anyone could talk about. And if they couldn't help but scrutinize the couple, how did those close to them feel? She is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And she's here tonight. To me, I love you, babe. For Demi's eldest daughter, Rumor Willis, it might have been a little more than awkward. Let's put it this way. Imagine your mom was dating the one celebrity you had a crush on because that's exactly what happened. Rumor was reportedly weirded out by her mother's new romance and admitted to having had a poster of Ashton on her wall before. Soon, that weirdness turned into anger and heartbreak when she felt as though Ashton had taken all her mother's attention. While Demi and the No Strings Attached actor had been trying to build a family, in between all of that, the actress forgot her own. So much of that time, especially with Ashton, I was so angry because I felt like something that was mine had been taken away. Yeah. Yeah rumor shared, adding that when she wanted to have another baby and then it wasn't happening, and there was so much focus on that, it was like, oh well, we're not enough. After two years of dating, the pair realized that they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together and tied the knot. The couple has always been very public about their relationship, maybe a little too public at times, like the time Ashton shared a photo of his wife's butt. However, even with that considered, their marriage ceremony was very exclusive. It was just a small private get-together with their closest friends and family, which is a big contrast to Moore's first wedding to Bruce. But considering the actress had already gone big before, 
something small may have been more pleasing for her. And although being friends with your ex isn't always recommended, Willis was a guest at theirs and happily welcomed Kutcher into the family with open arms. Who could have imagined that with all the love and joy the couple shared over the years, that they would end up where they are today? You know, people screw up and everybody does it, and everybody's going to get their turn. And I think that, that you know, getting publicly shamed for making a mistake uh, really sinks. Ashton, having built a whole family with someone new, and Demi finally learning how to be on her own. Maybe some people show up in our lives for a certain moment to play a certain part, and that's okay. Who knows how far down Demi's life would have spiraled if she had stayed with Kutcher? And would they have been happy considering the actor randomly had cheating allegations popping up? Sometimes what hurts the most may be the best decision you'll ever make for yourself. And even though present you may not see it, future you might be grateful. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for choosing Rumor Juice.